All right, it's an all-in-one destination for fashion, news, reviews, trends, tips. It's not a traditional magazine, though. It's a blog. Yes, the Fashion Bomb focuses on multicultural fashions, and our Simone Boyce joins us now with uh, how it's become the place to go for fashion advice. Fashion blogging is so popular mm -hmm. right now. I, I feel like every girl from 14 to 18 probably wants to be a fashion blogger. Like, this is the destination for blogging. So, you know, it's really hard to stand out in a sea of fashion bloggers today, but 10 years ago, Claire Selmers took the plunge and now nearly a million social media followers thank her for it. Wow. This Givenchy skirt is one of my best investments. In 2006, fashion fiend Claire Solmers launched a digital hub for fellow trend spotters. Fashion Bomb is a daily destination for the multicultural fashionista. Your favorite celebs, what they're wearing, where you can get it, sometimes for less. Fashion Bomb Daily has become one of the most highly cited style blogs on the web, racking up awards left and right. I really do try to make sure that everything I do is positive um, and that I show people in their best light. We couldn't resist raiding the Atlanta native's Brooklyn closet. I am classy with a kick. I like things like suits, for example, you know, but in a bright pink color. Um, there was a huge waiting list for these, and I was able to nab them. Claire, what styling tips do you have for New Yorkers? I would recommend that they get absolutely everything tailored. Um, there's nothing better than an amazing tailor. No two days are the same here at Fashion Bomb headquarters. I dedicate the morning and early afternoon to blogging and then the rest of the day is about, you know, socializing and gathering new material for the next day. Claire appeals to advertisers with the help of staff writers, photographers, and videographers. I think the key to my success is focusing on a niche audience, a very strong, powerful, and vocal audience, and making sure that I always attend to their needs and make sure that they know that I care and I'm there. But as the saying goes, every overnight success is 10 years in the making. It took a long time before it it, you know, really took off. It took like three or four years, but, you know, I was just persistent with it. And I think it's time for me to start grooming a successor. Um, and so I'm hoping that that can happen by before our 10 year anniversary. So for anybody who does want to become a fashion blogger, it's encouraging to hear that it didn't just happen overnight. Right. It took her three or four years yeah. to get a following. But this seems like, on the, from the outside, it seems like the best career because you just get paid to look good. But know, we know there's know. more work that goes sure. into it. You have to be able to sure. have put all that time in when nobody's yes. looking at it. And then you get your break. And it, you know, it's a slow build. But you're yeah. right. And a lot of competition. A lot and of you've got to be up on it all the time. Yeah. She said finding her niche was the key. Yes. You got to narrow in on something totally, and someone right. own one little exactly. tiny thing. That's cool. Yeah. All right, thank you Simone. So.